Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Yana. Today I'll be guiding you through a very quick and gentle yoga practice for bloating. So whenever you're ready, just meet me on your mat and we'll begin here together. We'll begin in a tabletop position. So whenever you're ready, let's make our way onto all fours with the wrists right underneath the shoulders, the knees right underneath the hips. Let's begin with some cat and cows here to warm up the spine. So whenever you're ready, let's take a deep inhale, drop the belly, bring the gaze up, chin up. And exhale, curl your back, gaze towards the belly. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale, curl your spine. Last one, inhale. And exhale, curl your back. Inhale back to neutral. Keep your knees and hips where they are. We'll just begin to walk our fingertips forward into extended puppy pose or melting heart. Try to draw the chest as close to the ground as you can. And if you can rest your chin on the ground, go ahead and do that as well. And there's always an option to place a pillow or a bolster underneath your chest. This will give you extra elevation. But wherever you are, close your eyes. Deepen your breath. And be present in this very moment. And gently press into your palms. Walk your hands slightly back. You're gonna keep pressing into your left palm and just spread the right arm underneath your left shoulder. Drop your right ear on the mat. You can keep your palm in front of you or bring your left palm up and onto your lower back or bind a bind, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just keep focusing on your breathing. And slowly bring your left palm back onto the mat. Bring your right palm back as well. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So just thread the left arm underneath your right shoulder. Drop your left ear on the mat. And again, you can bring your right palm up and onto your lower back, or you can find a bind. Try to keep your right shoulder opening up towards the sky. And just focus on your breath. And slowly bring your right palm back onto the mat. We're gonna go into a child's pose. So let's open up the knees, mat distance apart. Bring the big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Let's lower chest down to the mat. Bringing your forehead to the floor as well. Just breathing here, connecting to your breath. And slowly roll yourself up, walk your hands back towards your body. You're gonna 
shift your weight over to your left and extend both of your legs out. We're gonna bring the left foot over our right. Make sure that both of your sitting bones are on the mat. Bring your left palm behind you. Let's take a deep inhale, bring the right palm up. And as you exhale, hug the right elbow to your left knee. Let's add a nice twist here. Keep your back straight, shoulders relaxing down. If you wanna add a little bit more, you can always bend your right knee as well. And just focus on your breath wherever you are. And slowly, let's counterpose to the opposite side. Keep your back straight. And let's switch our feet around. So extend both of your legs out first. Bring your right foot over your left, your right palm behind you. You can keep the left leg straight out or you can bend it. Bring your left palm up on your inhale. And on your exhale, let's hug the elbow and begin to gaze over our right shoulder. You can close your eyes here. Stay centered in your breath. And let's counter pose to the opposite side. And slowly extend both of your legs out. Let's make our way onto our back, bringing those knees in towards the chest, interlacing your fingers around your knees. Let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, pull those knees closer towards your chest. You can bring your forehead closer to your knees and squeeze in here. And release. We'll do this three more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Bring that forehead towards the knees. And release. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. And release. And then last one. Inhale. Exhale, bring it all in. And slowly release. Let's add a gentle rock from side to side here to massage the lower back. And return back to center. Extend your left leg out. Interlace your fingers around your right knee. Let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze that knee closer towards the right side of your body. Staying here for one more breath. And slowly bring your left palm on your right knee. Open up your right palm into T position or cactus, whatever feels more comfortable. And let's begin to guide that right knee over towards the left. And we're gonna gaze over towards the right. If your knee is not touching the ground, don't worry, just as long as you're feeling that nice stretch in your spine, you're good. And slowly return back to center. Let's squeeze that right knee in for just a moment, extend it out, and we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Interlace your fingers around your left knee and say good deep inhale, lengthen. On your exhale, squeeze that knee in. Staying here for one more breath. And bring your right palm onto your left knee. Open up your left arm into T position or cactus. 
And let's begin to guide that knee over towards the right, gazing over towards the left. You can keep your eyes closed, breathing in and out through the nose. And gently return back to center. Squeeze that knee in towards the chest for just a moment. And slowly extend your left leg out. Coming into our final posture, Shavasana. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Soften your belly, soften your jaw and your facial muscles. Deepen your breath. It was my honor to guide you through this practice. I encourage you to stay here for a little bit longer if you have the time to allow your body to absorb the benefits of this practice. I hope to see you here again soon. And from my heart to yours, namaste.